Audacity just came out with a new feature called Punch and Roll. Audacity version 2.3.0 or higher now includes Punch and Roll. This version of Audacity is version 2.3.2. To provide an explanation of what punch and roll is, I'll read directly from Audacity's website the following. Punch and roll record access by transport recording punch and roll record. You can also enter the keyboard shortcut shift plus D. This enables you to correct errors easily during the course of a recording session. You can stop, back up over a mistake, and continue recording, resulting in one track that eliminates the errors and is properly timed without the use of cutting, pasting, and clip moving commands or mixing of multiple tracks. You can do rough editing as you go with minimal interruption of your performance, saving you the trouble and extra work of having to come back later and make the same edits. Now I will illustrate the usefulness of punch and roll for anyone recording directly to Audacity. For this example, if I make a mistake in counting from 1 to 10, I will use the punch and roll to make the correction. To begin recording, I can enter the key R or use the red record button. So I'm going to click on the red record button. And you see we're now recording. To make the waveforms a little larger, I want to drag this down. So let's begin counting and see if we can count all the way from 1 to 10 without making a mistake. One, two, three, five. I made a mistake, so I'm going to click on the stop. And you can also simply press your space bar, or you can click on the stop button. So I went one, two, three, five. As you'll hear, one, two, Three, five. So we need to click right here. And what we've done by clicking there, we've set a clip boundary. And I'm going to do a keyboard shortcut, which will be Shift and the letter D. So Shift D. And what that will do. When I click on Shift D, it will erase this section. So it will delete this section. And it will start playing back a few seconds. And when it gets to the point you want to start recording again, just start talking again. So you'll see right here, right now, I'm going to do Shift D. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So it should have been seven, eight. I left out eight, so I need to correct it. So I went from four, five, six, seven, nine. So where we want to put 
the number 8. We click here to insert a clip boundary. And again, we do the Shift D. And that's going to delete this part here. And it's going to start playing a few seconds back. So here we go. Shift D, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if for some reason on this second take you make an error, what you can do is Simply go up to Edit, Undo Record, or you could do Control Z. So, in this particular case, let's say for some reason we don't like what we did on the second take, let's, let's do Undo Record, and then we're right back where we started Five. from. Six, seven, nine. So we should have had a eight right here. So let's let's do it again. Let's correct this error. Click here. So we've got the clip boundary right here. And we're going to enter the keyboard shortcut. Shift D four five six seven eight. Nine, ten. So that completes our recording, and we have all ten numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we counted in a direct sequence from 1 to 10. Now here's something that you'll run into. We have created clip boundaries. And if you see, if I click here, it only highlights this section. Or if I click over here, it goes from this clip boundary to that clip boundary. And if I click over here to this front section, it shows this. But where we place these clip boundaries, we can only click on sections of the audio. Now, after I do the edit, using these clip boundaries, I like to remove them all because when you get into further audio processing, you start clicking sections and the clip boundaries actually get in the way. You might want to click the entire track, but you're just clicking just a portion of the track. Now this is how you remove these clip boundaries. One of two ways. You can remove them one by one simply by going to a clip boundary, clicking on it. See how it went away? Now I'm going to edit and put it back in here because I'm going to show you another way. What I like to do is simply Select the entire track. I just clicked here, went to the beginning of the track, and go to the very end of the track. Hold my shift key down and left click, and that highlighted the entire track. And at that point, I'm going to select on the menu Edit. Clip Boundaries. I'm going to click Join, and when I click on Join, look over at the Clip Boundaries, how they'll disappear. See, now the Clip Boundaries are gone. And now when I click to select the entire track, it does select the entire track because the Clip Boundaries have been removed. This is an excellent feature.
for podcasters, for voiceover artists, and for anybody that records directly to a digital audio workstation, a doll, such as Audacity. I hope you've received something of value from this video, and thanks for watching. Please visit our website, opportuno.org, that's spelled O-P-O-R-T-U-N-O dot O-R-G, for more items that may be of interest to you. Thank you.